This is a uh, part of uh, our tour of all the power stations, just trying to understand what are some of the operational challenges, what are the targets that uh, the various uh, station managers uh, have in place to ensure that we are able to to return uh, to a normality, essentially eliminating uh, load shedding. We did make a commitment to the South African public that we're going to visit these power stations and once I've completed this exercise, I'll, I'll be in a position to communicate where we are and what those timelines are because the president has given me an assignment to, uh, if you like, reduce uh, the intensity of load shedding and the regularity of load shedding and ultimately resolve the load shedding problem. So this is a uh, two additional station on top of the six that we have already visited, which are mainly in um, Pumalanga. Anchor Lech really it's a, what we call the peaking uh, stations. These are stations that uh, come on stream when there's a peak demand, the uh, morning and the uh, evening. And ideally we should not be using uh, Anchor Lech uh, and many other peaking stations because once you engage those peaking stations simply means that there's an uh, underperformance of, uh, if you like, the coal powered power stations, uh, the 13 plus uh, Quebec. And what they do is to ensure that they close the gap in the in the demand, so that they were able to meet the demand without uh, compromising the integrity of the system. So you can see that the uh, over a period of time we've been engaging, running hard those uh, peaking stations. Uh, we should be uh, running them at about five percent. We are running them at about uh, 21 percent. So that tells you a lot about the underperformance of uh, the fleet of uh, power stations in uh, in ESCOM. So essentially, the more the, we engage in the picking plants, the bigger our problem uh, and the cost of diesel. Uh, so the, the situation is such that we need to improve, uh, if you like, uh, the, the production capacity or the efficiencies of the coal-powered power stations in Pumalanga, and that's why we started there. Once you correct that situation there, then you don't have to bed an anchor leg. So typically, you don't have to have anchor leg, the picking uh, stations, your hydro, your wind uh, coming on board and the pump stations because you won't need them.